Across Scotland, there's a community bringing people together across the generations. Participating, competing, and winning. It's building on the past, pushing to the future. This is a community called Scottish Badminton. In Fraserburgh, it's back to the future. Badminton came back to Fraserburgh. After years and years and years of being nothing. So in the 60s and 70s and 80s, the big sort of time for badminton in Fraserburgh. So the summer months would be golf and then the winter season would be where they would all come and play badminton. I think it just kind of stopped. Don't know the reason for that, but yeah, it just seemed to stop all of a sudden. <laughs> We're now getting three courts full of people playing. You wouldn't have gotten that two or three years ago. This club started in March of this year. It's good that we've finally got a community club to enjoy our passion for badminton. Well, we used to do like a Monday night one before, just in a little church hall, just for fun really. This one's a lot better because it's a lot more competitive kind of games. It gets more exciting, because kind of like, you can't get quite boring if you're not getting a bit of a challenge. So I find that this has improved me a lot in like strategy. I make time for this because this is what I enjoy doing. Badminton is exercise, meeting people, and a bit of competition. Badminton has come back to the brook. It's good to see, and it's about time. <laughs> In Glasgow, there's a community that's sharing its skills. And this up. This club here is the Glasgow Chinese Badminton Club. Originally we started as a community club, obviously the Glasgow Chinese Badminton Club, and we kept that name just to keep our heritage. We diversified our players from different backgrounds. Badminton is the biggest sport in China, and we want to make it the biggest sport in Scotland. It's quite cool to be able to be taught by an ex-champion player. I started from a beginner, just trying to hit a show. And I, from here, I managed to make it to the national junior squad. Okay, five half strike kicks each leg. Is that? We are ultimately here just to improve badminton, to have fun and create the right atmosphere, the right environment. They enjoy it. If they didn't enjoy it, then they wouldn't be coming back. Badminton, it's weird to say, but I think it's a more of a sociable sport than football because you can choose your partners almost. You get to explore people's personalities more. I've been friends with somebody, but now I'm better friends with them now through badminton. In Perth, it's fun, not just exercise. This time last year, all three of these ladies couldn't actually hit a shuttlecock. I'm Linda Gordon and I'm a returner to badminton. You were very good. You were, your parallel lines are they're winners. You're smart. You're very good. <laughs> not gonna say. We're having a, a bit of a job getting it across the net because everybody was missing and all that. You don't actually move your racket up, you just wait. I returned two years ago to badminton after about a 30 year break. How do you get the power in the backhand? Your racket is, is like a handshake. You just reassure them that their aim will get better and they'll actually enjoy it once they're actually playing. Playing like this is a team rather than going to the gym. I love it, you know, I just love it. There is no embarrassment. There's no good players, there's no bad players. We're here to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Your muscles are sore, your, your arms are sore. But now, we're kind of getting into the swing of it, aren't we? Yeah, it's really yeah, yeah, good, yeah, we're very good. Yeah. I suppose in real terms, I could actually be, I could smash all of these, but that doesn't keep the game going. Nobody's actually feeling bad that they played a bad shot. Well, I was going to the gym, but I struggled. But I just like doing something like this, where it's competitive, and you don't feel as if you're doing exercise. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm able to keep doing it at my age. <laughs> In Grangemouth, winning is turning up to play. I always try and win, but if I don't win, 
doesn't matter to me because I've won anyway. I'm on the court. I like competing for better for worse. My wife passed away in 2005. We just lived for each other. But... See when you're feeling to me, could you just bring it down a wee bit? Two years after it, my youngest daughter said to me, Dad, you used to enjoy playing badminton. Why don't you go back? She thought I was having a pint too many. <laughs> Serve from the normal position, and then we play on that half of the court. You want you to step on that court, everything is out of your mind, you're focused. And it's keeping my mind off what's happened before. It's really badminton, it's everything for me, you know. I hope to play as long as I can, but the man above is in charge of that. But I really like the competing, so I'll compete as long as I can. Compete. For Scotland's next hope, there's only one goal, to win. Bampton to me is what I put all my time and energy and focus into. My biggest ambition is to go to the Olympics, like 100%. That's the dream. All my best friends are here. <laughs> it's a good environment to train in. By the time we get warmed up and stuff, it's around like two hours of like proper, proper hitting. Look at that network. So we're serving. Tapping so we can do the same as the boys. Our kind of Scotland team are all like rooting for each other. You want everyone to do well. Like you like to see everyone working hard. One of the things that kind of drives me is representing Scotland. It's obviously such a honour to kind of have my name's out there like representing my country like after all the time and like money and everything my family spent on me it's giving it back in a way. Winning is the best feeling ever. In Sky, the kettle's on. Graham's coming, Brenda's coming, Michael, Matthew and Neelish, same family. Get some good crack, get some good games. A wee cup of tea or coffee, see what they fancy, and a wee, a wee biscuit. Age, ability or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just go out there and enjoy it. As a 12 year old, I wasn't the right age for the football team. I started off with badminton and I just kept going. How are you feeling? On the men, on the men. It's a good sport because you can play it all your life. I was hearing about a certain cheesecake. I will tell your mother. Don't encourage him. The roof, it's a blooming pain. You only go through the rafters as like a desperation. Like if you've got nothing left, you tend to try and go down the middle. That's kind of frowned upon. Oh, it's lower. Well, I was never introduced to Barrington until I was 15. It's your games. I loved it. It's just such a, such a nice sport. Don't settle for best of three, best of five. <laughs> best of six. Scottish badminton is social. It's sore muscles. A bit of competition. Getting on court. It's enjoyment and teamwork. It's winning and representing Scotland.